Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today we return with part 71 of our EA Sports WRC Let's Play. Yes, we return this weekend to the big one. Well, at least for us anyway, because it is our best opportunity to try to win an event here. Yes, we return to Rally Croatia this weekend. I've got a fair amount of experience up and down these hills. So really, I'm looking forward to hopefully having a good run out. Of course, if you missed out on the last video uh, that went live at the weekend, I would highly recommend going back and checking it out. Taking a look at the championship standing, Seb Ogier, currently 16 points clear at the top of the table. We are in 8 place at the moment seven points uh, behind my teammate Hoffman after a tough rally Mexico uh, but we're still ahead of Thierry Neuville uh, which is quite the surprise early on this season but yeah today we want to try and score big points we know there's a massive opportunity as well uh, in the Wolf Power stage but trying to keep it clean and tidy over the four stages before that is going to be critical here to make sure we have a fighting chance Quickly though, before we get into that, I want to thank today's video sponsor, Fanatec. Yes, I have used Fanatec gear now for many, many years and they still are a dominant force in the sim racing space. If you're racing on Xbox or PC, nothing really comes close and their PC offerings are still absolutely brilliant. If you're interested in ever shopping for any Fanatec products, it would be greatly appreciated if you would use my link down in the description below. At no additional cost to yourself you massively help support the channel and yeah i just want to say thank you for fanatec for their continued support we pet it and welcome to round four of the fia world rally championship we're here at rally croatia ready for more awe-inspiring asphalt action the teams are almost ready to take to the stages and soon enough the countryside of croatia will be coming alive with the sounds of the wrc well if we look at the forecast the drivers will need to draw on their full reserves of adaptability for this event as it looks like the weather conditions will be changing quite a bit throughout this rally a quick look at the standings as the drivers make their final preparations to get underway let's see who we currently have in the top three championship spots they are ogier rovenpera and tanak those further down the standings should have plenty of opportunity to assert themselves throughout this exciting event well, I have no idea how many times I've done this rally on this game, but I don't get bored of it. It is brilliant fun here. We've scored points in the opening three rounds of the championship, and I want to try and continue on with that this weekend. Final two stages are wet once more, uh, so I think that's just fixed every time we come here in the Rally 1 cards. But yeah, no massive stages, but none um, that are particularly short either, so it is going to be fast blasts up and down the hill there we'll use the softs for one and two and then three and then we'll go obviously onto the rain tires for four and five but yeah obviously not interested in trying to take a spare tire we are chasing perfection Starts over the course of this event because i know this is a big one for us that we can win second here last year a few seconds away from seb ogier take down underway then Obviously, been driving a couple of different cars recently. Uh, so, I've got to get back used to my beautiful Hyundai Rally 1 car. Um, probably should have driven a different car this season, to be honest. I usually try and mix it up in the other classes. Uh, but decided to stick with the Hyundai this season. Obviously, just got to try and get back used to the tarmac physics once more. It's been a couple of days since I played the game as well, so, got to be careful with it. Through the hairpin will go. Yeah, it does feel like one of those rallies where, for the most part, I know where I'm going. A 39 3 uh, through the shakedown there. We can be pretty happy uh, with that run as well. So, no concerns, no worries, anything like that. Uh, I would hope we've got no repairs either because we didn't hit anything. So, let's get in then with stage number one. Obviously, most people have done their run. Elvin Evans, fastest on the board so far. So he's having a pretty decent start to the year. Start but no one left. has been able to get close to Seb Ogier consistently. It's just how he does it. Five, he's just good four, everywhere. Three, two, one, go. Slide left, 200. So much fun having to cycle up through those gears and immediately you're doing over 100 miles an hour. In a car that's only designed to do about 125. These things get to speed fast. 
but I've got to make sure we keep out of trouble. I've taken a risk not bothering with a spare tyre. And immediately, that's not the way we wanted to do that. I apologise to your house. You kind of pinged off it though, so not too bad. Not the end of the world. Even quicker through the first split though, that's good. So clearly pinging off that was well worth it. Easy. So important as well, you don't overcook the rears. Because you can be on for a very, very frustrating journey. If you do, so much of that composure. And of course, not overfiring it into the hairpins either. Second gear is definitely your friend around here for the most part though, as that is not the line. Keep it away from the people. Well, we saw obviously last time out in Mexico just how much we've improved. Obviously Croatia there was less room for improvement, but you can certainly always go a bit quicker. This first split has been a little bit sloppy. away a little bit of time there, but it's a fairly long rally. It's not the end of the world. There's Ogier. Doesn't seem to be anywhere early on. I'm sure I'll get himself back in that fight before the end of this event, but it would be nice to take some points out of him. Don't know whether this season we're going to be able to mount a championship challenge, to be fair. We'll kind of just see how everyone else gets on. Yeah, I mean, we've scored points in every rally so far, but we need to keep that up and scoring more points in a lot of events as well. But we'd love to get a full 30 here. See, Safari Rally Kenya last weekend. That was pretty good fun as well. I watched bits of it where I could. Uh, always quite an interesting one, isn't it? And obviously, Cali taking the dub in the end. Still don't think the new point system works, though. I still feel the old one was better. You know, the idea that you can go quickest through most of the stages and not score the most points is always a little bit odd. I think they'll probably drop it next year, to be honest. Ooh. I hope they do anyway. I like having the one stage at the end of a rally where it's kind of all risk, all reward, but up to that point you kind of think, well, someone can completely throw away and not do anything on Friday and still walk away with the most points. Ooh, come on. We're already over halfway up the hill. It's still nip and tuck between myself and Elvin Evans. Just trying to keep it tidy as best as possible. Oh, as soon as I say that. No, I was nowhere near anyone. Great. Shocking decision by the FIA. But not the end of the world. Yeah, look at that. Eight seconds down now. See if we can get that gap back down just a little bit before the end. Maybe we can get it under the penalty's worth. Come on, don't get too ragged. There will be opportunities to close back in. Definitely not the right way we need to see that gap going. Right, long. 30, three left, open. And late, one 
left Titans 70. Ooh. Oh, hate it when you do that. Just allow the rear to slide. Right, I've got to be really careful around here because there's that one horrible little sign. And always remember the hairpin. This is a horrible double apex. So Elvin Evans already over the line. In towards the final corner though. Oh, keep it tidy. Don't understeer off on the final corner. Nine seconds back in the end. That's a shame, but like I said, it's not the end of the world. As we'll get the car slowed down into the first stage. And yeah, there we go. Sixth place in the end then. So Sevo G is still on the money. Uh, but we can definitely take some time out of Evans and Thierry Neuville on the next couple there. Happy, I mean, we would, we would hope to be in the points over the course of this event either way. Um, but yeah, now I think we've got to run back down the hill. So hopefully we can try and close that gap back in a bit. Yep, as you would expect, everyone going Start slightly quicker back right down the hill. A little bit more confidence in the machinery. Hopefully we can continue Five, that trend. Oh, that corner's horrible. It is flat. But you just sort of get hit with the understeer off the start. And this corner as well. I've fired it off there many a time in the past. Let's see. If we can just be, you know, a little bit quicker through all the splits around here, then I'll be happy. Just want to make sure we're bringing that gap the right way again. I'm not going to let that first stage upset my rhythm too much. Easy. To three left, Titans. Thirty to right, open. Ninety. Four left, fifty. Three right, don't cut. Open. Oh, we're up. 60. It's not by as much as I was hoping. Slowing but we are up. Left, That's the important Titans bit. Two long and four left, seventy. Five right short, don't cut. Seventy. And obviously we don't get Thierry Neuville as a reference either because he's behind me in the championship. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Always hate the grass physics around here. That's not good. I mean, we're on the money still, but... Whoa. Back in one of we take the front then. It's nice and easy. I can already feel the front not quite giving up yet, but certainly not as providing as much grip as they were on the way up in the spots. Trying to just be nice and careful through some of these hairpins. There are some lethal ones. Six left short, 60. Five left, 70. Slowing, six left, 60. Slight right, Titans hairpin. 190. Yeah. On the power nice and early. Carry that speed off the corner. I still find it difficult to spot some of these hairpins out. Because the last thing you want to do is obviously break. Well, last thing you want to do is break too late and fly off. Second worst thing you can do is break way too early and then kind of find yourself just parked. Let's see, I can start feeling the fronts just kind of struggling to find the grip they want. How many sectors can I go quicker than Elvin Evans without taking back the lead here? 
Swipe right to sudden hairpin left. 60. Take that one. Always wants to try and upset the car. But luckily, a load of loud pedal and a bit of steering will fix that problem right up. you in, but it is right there. Oh, I can see the gap's gone back up again. Can't use the grass. Tip the car in. A little bit tight. A uh, messy, sorry, even I should say, but we held on. Yeah, front's going. Fronts are absolutely going here late on. We're a little bit down. But we should be quick towards the end. Oh, way offline, way offline. Just gather it up and get going again. Three and a half seconds back, man. Come on. Don't hit that house again. Thank you. Right, go, 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 go. Five right short, slowing 100. Five left, don't cut. 40, four right, tightened. 50, six left, 200. Uh, uh, come on. Yeah, we're going to be a tiny bit down again. It's annoying. Three seconds the gap there. Delvin Evans just continues to open it up just a little bit after each and every stage at the moment. Some absolutely on the edge driving has paid off for this crew as they climb the event table. Not even quicker than Thierry Neuville either, but I think that bump us back up yet to P3. So we need six seconds to Thierry and another six seconds then to Elvin. Uh, but we are beating Seb Ogier, which is a big one. And hopefully if Hoffman can keep up his pace, we should have a good opportunity in the Constructors as well. Um, but yeah, everyone else, Robin Pear has had a disaster. How many times have we said that on this game? Um, he's now two minutes away. But yeah, stage three coming up then. We'll bolt on a fresh set of the softs. But yeah, we just need to be finding that little bit extra throughout the entirety of a stage. All right, come on then. The shortest stage, I believe, on this rally. Um, but we start in a bit of a weird spot. I don't quite know where we're going from here. Well, I don't know it as well as we do on some of the other ones, so we'll see how this goes. It's kind of in those first two where you hope to build up a buffer over some of the other competitors. And then just trying to hang on through this stage, but yeah, we've still got to be pushing. But of course we know as well in that final stage there's a bit of time to be had. Um... Oh, come on. Yeah, we know there's a good few seconds in literally like one split. So it's not about being right with Evans, but it's being close enough that we can mount a challenge. Oh, that curbstone is lethal. Just wants to upset the rear of the car, and it will snap round if given the chance. Don't feel like I can maximize this thing at the moment. We're up though. That's good. That's really good. It's the early bit that I feel like I pretty much know at like the back of my hand. It's this part of the. Uh, area that I really don't. Just gather it up. Five right, Titans sixty. Five left, Titans three thirty. Two right. It's also how much the car's willing to break free over the bumps around here. Left, don't cut fifty. Three right, keep in into two left, half long, open thirty square 
Come on. Get the nose in. Get the nose in. 80. Two left. Half long. Don't cut. 30. Three right short. And one left. But obviously we know on paper we should be quick through the end of this stage. Late four left. 90. Two right. 60. Well, one second up at the moment. It's not a lot. But it is the right way. And that's good. Now we're back to where we know as well. This is good. Come on. Oh, no. It's got a little FPS drop then. That's annoying. Oh, what? Hey, how do you spin like that? We hit that completely side on. And it just tipped the rear round. Come on, we can still go quickest though. So odd. I tried to make a conscious effort to hit that square. And it still just tipped the back end round. Come on, what's the gap? Four seconds. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it really does feel like again this rally is just going to be out of reach for us. I'm not going to give up. Never know. Evans might make a mistake. There might be an opportunity back in against Thierry Neuville. That's why we still got to continue to push. Still right there. It would be nice to win a stage at this point. Feels like we're basically a carbon copy of what happened here last season. Come on. We're not going to do it. Oh. Well, I'm happy it saw us across the line, and I'm happy we haven't got another stage after this one, because we picked up a puncture then, right at the very end, and we beached it. <laughs> no. Come on, little Hyundai. Nope, we are, we are stuck here. We aren't even actually across the finish line, but the game's given it to me, which is good. Three seconds lost, though, to Evans is a shame. And a big amount of damage on the car as well before the final two stages. So the gap up now to about 16 seconds, I believe. Did we take time out of Neuville? Yes, we did. Oh. Well, I've never had that on this game either. We have tied with Thierry Neuville on that stage. The gap hasn't gone down or gone up. Um, we're still going quicker than Seb Ogier and everyone else there. But yeah, that means going into the final stage, still 6.7 seconds up to Neuville and a further 9 to Elvin Evans. So we're going to have to try and bring our A game. We need to try and keep it out of trouble though as well. I think we should still hopefully close up to Thierry. Um, but Elvin, yeah, it's going to require a miracle. Our car fully good to go then. And yeah, now we are into the wet stages. This is basically stage one again with a bit of a longer end. And then obviously we know we're going back down the other side of the hill to finish off this rally. Let's see if we're quicker than Elvin then. Come on. If we can get that gap back under sort of... If we can go like 10 seconds quicker than him here, which is a lot, then I want to believe going into that final stage there is a chance. But it's how much do you nurse the tyres here? My answer is not much at all. Don't hit their house again. Thank you. Tidier that time. But you have got to be a bit more gentle rolling on the throttle. Getting on that brake. It is all about the smoothness. That's a good Sector 1 split as well. It's not the end of Sector 1 of course anymore. But that's kind of the metric I base it on. I 
That's exactly the gap we need. We know Elvin still goes fastest here, but he's dropped away a little bit already. Come on. Come on. Second and trying to make sure that we tiptoe through there, apparently. Four left, 40. Three right, keep in, 50. Six right short, slowing, 70. Late open air mid left, tightens. And five right. Into <sighs> six left. And slight right, over bump to four left, cut, 70 open air. Yep, mid now Evans is back in the range. Maybe had a small slip up on the on split one. Maybe just was feeling out the conditions a bit more than everyone else, but he's back in pursuit. with that understeer. I don't want to lose some downforce already for the final stage. I also don't want to lose the front end. Come on. Gap's just coming down now. Trying to bring that gap up, but Five don't right, want to take too 60. big risks to do it. Right, We're right, really just trying to stay in the zone. Late open head right, tightened. And five left, forty. Whoop. Left of the crest, thirty. Three left, forty. Slight right, break, sixty. Late head in left. And four right, long, one twenty. Come on, keep it tidy. Just get those little moments of hesitation. Get on that loud pedal on the exit nicely. Whoa, back in. Try to skid out. Trying not to lean too much on the engine brake either, because I know that can upset the balance. But the gap is going the right way again. This is good. That's why you don't want to use first. Or lean on the engine brake too much. Starting just to go. Yeah, I've done the best I can, mate. Ow. It's a small sacrifice to make towards the end. Oh, the gap's gone back down, though. Come on. Come on. Easy does it. No, 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 no. Just nowhere near the purchase you were hoping for. Didn't cost me too much, but has cost me again. Just another little 
It's just the little mistakes. They all add up. Don't now roll it, please. Come on, we can still go quickest on this stage, though. I feel like I made that mistake last season here. That's that corner invites you in. Come on, we're one second back. This is not done. Go, 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 go. at the end, but Evans is just getting quicker and quicker, and I'm just losing a little bit of confidence. Come on! Let's finish, there it is. Oh, we're going to be pretty much nip and tuck, but again... Elvin Evans gets the better of me. We just cannot quite get it done. And we could have taken, you know, five, six seconds out of him on this one. But that one little error once more. It's just eliminating those tiny little things. It looks like this crew have settled nicely into their rhythm now. Setting another solid time on this stage and holding their position in this event. Well, unless Evans makes a mistake on that final stage, then I think he has done it. Um, but the gap now to Terry Newville, two seconds. If we can still walk away with the power stage points and a P2 here, I won't complain too much as Hoffman just starting to drop away as well from his battle in P4. It all comes down to this, though, the final stage of the rally. We know we're quick here, but there's no chance I make up 17 seconds. Come on, then. Seb Ogier, he set the pace. But we need to try and go a few seconds clear of him. We know we can go a few seconds clear of him. So it's just about trying to stay out of trouble on this final one. Me a couple of the time through split three. And see where we end up. It's scary when you just build up a little bit of speed around here. Because you know full well you need to scrub it all off again. The corner's like this. Uh, come on, nose in, nose in. So we're not normally any quicker through the rest of the splits. It's just through the one. Mm, there we go, that's good. But it is only over Seb Ogier. If normally this season, that would be incredible. Around here, not so much. I say that, Seb hasn't exactly been bad, has he? But he has just been by his ridiculous standards. Pretty much always will bag a podium. But he's got a few tough rallies coming up. Oh, let's try and build up that gap. Not by doing that either. Come on, nose in, nose in, nose in. Thank you. We're gaining a little bit of time though, which is reassuring. Two seconds up. Come on. Short, 60. 
slowing, six right to the crest, long and crest, 60, open air pit left, 60, slight right, right, come on, and this is a split of fast, right so we've got to try and get the gap 60. up, four left over bumps, 50, four right short, I don't know why the AI is so slow through here, but they are. Although when I do that, it doesn't help me out. Come on, let's keep it in fourth. We've got the torque. Twelve seconds up. Now that's not the line through there. Just grind down that wall, apparently. So I think we probably need to go, obviously, more than 16 seconds clear of Evans on this final split. Obviously, because he's probably gone quicker than OGA anyway, unless he's binned it, which I'm not holding my breath over. Come on, though, we're almost at the end of this rally. It's been another event of what if, unfortunately, but that seems to be the way these Croatian rallies go for me. Is definitely break too early through there, like I always do. Just do not have the confidence to break later, especially when you're right towards the end and you know you've got some time in the back pocket. But down towards the finish line, then, here for Rally Croatia. I think once again, we are going to be the bridesmaid. Make our way through the final corner. Through the finish line we go. Ooh. Yep, that seems always the way I finish that one. Um, but yeah, we took 12 seconds out of OGA. Surely that's enough for the five wolf power stage points. But yeah, we definitely haven't taken enough out of Evans, have we? Very nicely driven through that stage. It's a great result for the crew who, as a result, have moved up in the event standings. Well, there we go then. We took Thierry Neuville, but once more, it's going to be runners up here in Rally Croatia. Then Elvin Evans, he's still going to hold it on by, yeah, 10 seconds come the end of the rally. So just a couple of little mistakes here and there really have cost us in the end. But 23 points to our championship. We can't complain about that all too much either there. Hoffman did finish out in P6, could not quite get the jump on Tanak, uh, but will get one Wolf Power Stage point as well to help out the team. And that means taking a look. Yeah, we finished second overall this event. Of course, we've got to try and beat M Sport Ford this season. Uh, we took a good haul of points over them here. So happy, happy days in that regard. But when, when are we going to get our first WRC win? That's what I want to know. And a place on the podium for these teams that get to enjoy a moment of celebration before doing this all over again. From first to third, we have Evans, Mr. Monty and Neville. Well, all that is left now is to thank you for staying with us throughout this event. But let's be honest, it would have been impossible to tear yourself away. Such was the drama and skill on display. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time round. Yeah, there we go. Thierry Neuville unable to capitalise on that one as well as we were able to. So remember P6 then of the championship standings. They're 40 points back from Seb Ogier still. So we're going to have to just try and methodically take points out of him where we can there. Robin Pera, he had a pretty good recovery um, when all is said and done to try and score some good points as well. But you can see ahead of the likes of Neuville, Craig Breen and Takamoto Katsuta as well as Sideridis now uh, drops to the bottom of the order. And taking another look then at the constructors, we are 22 clear of M Spot Ford as well. So we gain 21 of those points on them today. Uh, so hopefully, of course, we can continue to try and beat them by the end of the season. But thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like, get yourself subscribed, and we will return very soon with more EAWRC content.